Hey Rita, all right, we're back in the sports science lab again. So what do we got up for Ryan today? What we'd like to do today is take a look at um, Ryan's response um, as far as blood glucose goes. Got response it. to exercise. Um, I think most people know that glucose is an important component of training and racing. You need to have that glucose getting into the bloodstream and getting down to the muscle tissue. It provides the energy. It's carbohydrate. You need that to exercise. So we're kind of measuring, you know, blood sugar like a diabetic would, huh? Very, exactly the same way, basically. Same measuring tools, little finger stick, get a little blood droplet, use the glucometer, takes just a couple of seconds to, to get a number for you. All right, Ryan, okay. you ready? Yeah. So we want to take a little baseline number first. So basically pricking the finger, I'm just going to get a little drop of blood. Hopefully, it's All nice right. and red. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Hold on to that for a bit. All right, Bought so, it. so okay. now that's basically their starting glucose level. Now we're gonna have him get him get him running for a bit and then yep. chest test it again. Yeah, so his base is 110 milligrams per deciliter right. of blood. We're ready to start normal running for this yep. time of day. Let's do it. All right, let's go. So typically kind of want to measure this every half hour or so. About just to that, see yeah. how he's doing. Nice that gives job. him enough time to be getting everything to where it needs to get. Like Got it. Getting a nice Hopefully a good stable level in that blood glucose. All right, so what's kind of typical blood sugar ranges that we want to keep keep them in? Kind of normal resting, you know, we want at least a 90 milligram. Okay, so what, what would be like on the low range if he's not getting enough sugar in? If he's not getting enough sugar, at least while he's exercising, you know, if we see something in that 80s or 70s, we want to address that. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, can, it, can it ever be too high? Um, it can definitely be too high. I mean, you know, hyperglycemia is a real issue. I don't know that it's it's such a big issue for endurance athletes. It typically doesn't happen too often. What you really see um, with athletes running marathons, um, other ultra distance events, is that they get hypoglycemic. They're not getting enough carbohydrate into the system. Got it. So will, will certain types of carbs that they take in on the run affect what these sugar level readings are? Definitely. Um, you know, there's fructose, glucose, uh, maltodextrin. Glucose is the better choice for um, carbohydrate intake, at least as far as, say, comparing to fructose. Fructose is a natural sugar you find in fruit. It's a real simple sugar. The problem with that is that a lot of people have trouble intestinally getting that to absorb into the bloodstream. So it's a, it can be a quick sugar, but it's not a good lasting sugar right. and often leads to gut issues. And just like hydration, um, carb intake is, again, it's very individual for um, athletes. Research tells us that the most we can take up during a given hour of exercise is about one gram per minute or 60 grams of glucose an hour. It's gonna be somewhat dependent on the athlete, the intensity at which they're running, their body size and uh, the duration of exercise. So again, it's something that you, you need to play around with in training to get what's ideal for you. Okay. Like how long do you think Ryan could go if, if he didn't take in any sugars when he was running? Well, I mean, most people have enough carbohydrate stores or muscle glycogen stores in their body to last them about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, sometimes up to two hours. Again, depending on intensity of exercise. Right, but, but trying to run a whole marathon, let's no. say, without taking in any sugars is a bad idea. Yeah, you often hear of marathoners hitting the wall at about that 18 mile mark and that's because they haven't fueled up to that point they're using up all their muscle glycogen and they're basically just running out of fuel getting tired fatigue and again it's something very individual they need to practice that in training so that when race day comes they know what they need to do and they're prepared great how we doing Ryan doing good excellent so we've been running for a while here you want to get ready and uh, let's see kind of test you out and see where we are all right I know, you know, pretty much when you're taking in your drinks now every day, it's like you're not just drinking water, but you're drinking something with some type of, you know, carbohydrate slash, you know, sugar solution. Yep. Yeah, I always look forward to those bottles every 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, Cytomax definitely uh, keeps my blood sugar kind of constant throughout. Okay, there you go. Nice job. Thanks. So basically kind of look just to see what was his sugar levels when he started and then kind of how it's progressing along the way. Right. So, you know, you've just, you've been exercising for a bit, those numbers are going to go up, kind of peak back down, and we got a measure of about 120 milligrams per deciliter per All right, All right. so okay. he's, he's well within the range of having adequate amount of sugar stores, right. and that glycogen level is going to stay strong as yeah. long as we stay on top Should of it. Be. Excellent. All right, thanks, Ryan. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Good job.